everyone. Uh, Joshua Hanks here. I uh, just wanted to give a quick tutorial on something fun that we're going to make today. Today we're going to make a church slide for all the pastors out there, youth pastors, graphic designers for churches, um, anybody that really just kind of wants to design something for their church, this is for you. Today we are going to actually turn around, here let me pop it up here for you. Um, we are actually going to go over designing this today. Now, this is quite simple, but it's got a lot going on, a lot of cool specific features. I've got this little dark space right here going over the text. I've got a really cool scratchy look over the photo, which is actually not part of the original photo. I've got this little streak right here that's not part of the photo either. I have to customize that. And just other few, um, few things here and there that complete the entire design. So today we're going to go over that and we're going to recreate this entire new slide. So I'm going to get out of this real quick. First things first, you got to go in your Adobe Photoshop program and click New. Next, I'm going to find. I'm going to check out my uh, dimensions. I'm going to go down to pixels. I do widescreen, and widescreen we all know is 1920 by 1080. Um, since this is for a screen, I want to keep the resolution at 300 and color mode RGB color. I'm going to hit OK. Now we've got a white blank canvas here, which is always scary, but don't worry. We're going to start off with our photo. That's going to kind of clean things up a bit, make things a little easier. I'm going to go down here in my finder. Here's the photo. Click and drag. Here it is. Now I want to resize this. That way it can kind of block out that white space. I'm going to go to my corners here. I'm going to hit shift and click at the same time if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to drag it. The reason why I say shift click, here I'm going to undo that. The reason why I say shift click is because if you just drag and click, watch what's going to happen. It's going to go all cattywampus and you're going to go and have a really weird photo. So I'm going to undo that. Shifting click will keep it nice and straight. No problems at all. I'm going to go to the other side and clear that up. Now I resized the photo. If we saw, I resized it pretty big and I moved it down right around there. That way the Bible is kind of flooding the bottom and there's a lot of space on top of it we can work with. I click on the checkbox. Now we've got our photo. Next, I want to work with the text. I go down here to our text tool, click on that. I can go anywhere here on the canvas, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to click and then I'm going to type down mid week. I'm going to go hit enter, go down, Bible study. Now, I don't like this font for this specific slide, so I'm going to hit all. And right up here is going to be my font and size and, and character or whatnot. I'm going to look, I'm going to get the font. Bebus. Bebus is one of my favorite fonts. I love it. It's really clean. Now notice it's kind of all cattywampus here. It doesn't really look quite good. It kind of looks scattered. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click, highlight the entire thing, and see this little button that says A? Well, that's our, that's our character tab. Our character tab is going to deal with uh, the sizing of that uh, for uh, the uh, spacing, spacing this way, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go back to normal, reset all this. I'm going to bring it down, probably like around here. That was pretty good. And then I'm going to change the spacing to 75. 75 is pretty nice. I'm going to bring this a little smaller. And because of that, now i got to raise this up a bit. And there you go. It looks pretty good. So now I click on that button, click on my selection tool, and here we go. I'm going to align that nice and perfectly. And there we go. we got a pretty good uh, start. Now I want to kind of add on the bottom the other text that says um, Tuesday nights at 7.30. I'm going to actually go on the same tab, go down one, and type in Tuesday, Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m. Now that I don't want it to look like that. I want, it, I want it to look a little bit smaller and like a subtitle along with this. So I'm going to just highlight that. I'm going to go back up to my fonts. I personally like the Acumen Pro. Um, that's quite nice. I'm going to change the characters on that. I'm going to bring the spacing closing, make it nice and small. And then I'm going to raise it up just a bit, right around there. Take that out, select it, and here we go. Now we've got a really nice text. Okay, so we've got our text. We're off to a pretty good start, nice and simple. Next, I want to I want to make this a little bit smaller. Same rules apply, shift click and drag. The reason why I want to make it small is because now I have to add the logo right on top, the church logo. 
On my desktop, the logo is right there, so I'm going to click and drag. There's a logo. Drag this back here. I'm going to slide all that down, nice and small, right about there. Click and drag, probably right around here. Now, we have a big problem. I cannot see the logo. It's, it's gone because that is a black logo. I want it to be white, just like this. And it's a text, so I can't highlight it at all. Well, here's what I do. I go to my selection tool. It's selected. I'm down here in my layers, and it's selected down here. I want to double click on this layer. Then my layer style comes up. We got a lot of different things going on here. We got bevel, emboss, contour, texture, stroke, inner shadow, inner glow, satin, color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, outer glow, and drop shadow. I want to focus on my color overlay right now. I'm going to click color overlay. And see what it did already? It's already made it white. And it looks beautiful just like that. But I want to show you how it made it white. If you go over here, don't worry about blending mode or opacity for now. Just worry about this color. If you click that, then you're going to see all these different types of colors. You have all the colors in the world. Well, if I wanted to make it purple, I'll click and drag the little uh, little tool over on the palette to go to purple. If I hit OK, boom, it's purple. Now, obviously, we don't want it to be purple. So I'm going to go back, go back to my white, hit OK. We have to hit OK one more time. And there we go. We've got a very nice start to our slide. Most churches would kind of leave it like this because it's simple, it's clean, it kind of sends the same message. And if you can tell, it almost looks, here I'm going to pull it up, it almost looks exactly the same as our original. Go back here, almost exactly the same. But there's a few little minor details that kind of makes this pop out nicely. So I'm going to focus more and keep going. Notice I even messed up the, t the text, but we're going to leave it there for now. Okay, next, I'm going to grab my overlay. Now, I'm going to go here. Here's my overlay. Click and drag. Now, it's a really small one, but don't worry. If you're not, this photo actually has nice dimensions. This photo I actually got from a website called pixels.com. And because it's an overlay, we don't need it to be nice and clear. Now, I'm going to go down here to my blending mode. This is what's called a blending mode. They have all these different options right here, and they're quite nice. They all have a specific job. Well, for this specific design, I'm going to click on Overlay, and watch what happens. Boom. It's overlaid. Now, notice that the little streak of line, did you notice that little streak of line right about here? That is actually going on top. I want it to go from the bottom up, kind of like you know the Bible is showing light. So I'm going to click on it, hit on Edit, down to Transform. Flip horizontally, uh, vertically, I almost said horizontally, excuse me. Flip vertically, when I click on that, boom. Clears it up nice and makes it nice and easy. Now, if you notice, the coloring seems to be a little bit different in that one photo. So I'm going to change the coloring, and that is going to be in our adjustment layers. Here's our adjustment layers, that little, uh, I call it the shortbread cookie because it looks like a shortbread cookie. I click on that. I have all these different options. I'm going to choose curves because I like curves. Now, I'm going to drag it a little bit up. That makes it nice and bright. If you drag it down, it makes it nice and dark. I kind of want right a little bit of up to, top right there. Notice that the photo was kind of a blue, so I'm going to go down to my blue color. I'm going to raise my blue up just a little bit, not too much, right about there. I'm going to go back to my red, maybe even raise the red or lower it, probably raise them just a little. And then we'll see what happens to my green, because if I lower that, it'll go kind of into a purple. I want to lower that just a bit right there. There's so many minor adjustments that make the whole thing work. Now, next what I want to do is if you notice on the other photo, I had a darkened spot right about here. Well, I'm still, I still want to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to my layers. I'm going to click on my text. I'm going to hit new layer. So right now there is an invisible square right here. Absolutely invisible. Can't do anything about it. But I can draw on the invisible square. So I'm going to grab my brush tool. Uh, I have the brush oh, a little smaller. That's the left bracket. And then that's kind of about the size. I want to change the color maybe to a eh, dark purple. Maybe I can even drop the color around there. Hit OK. So now I've got my brush ready to go. Watch what happens when I brush over it. It's going to kind of look funky right about there. It's going to look really funky. 
I don't want it to actually paint over the picture. I want to paint just over the text. So here's what I do. I'm going to click on that. I have my brush and my layer. If you look down here, you can see the layer right there. And then I want it to go inside of the text. And the way to do that is to click and hold on Option or with the PC Alt. And then you see that little icon right there after the hand? You see that right there? When you click, watch what happens. It goes away from the picture and has molded itself into the text. Now, obviously, that's really dark. I don't want it that dark. So to do to fix that, I just play with it. I move it around a little bit. And notice whatever I do, it stays only within the text. I can move it around the entire picture, and it will stay within the text. So I'll move it up just a little bit right about there. Maybe even lower the opacity a little bit. That way it's not as strong. Right about there. And then I hit OK, and here we are. We've got a really nice slide right here already, and we didn't do much to it. And here, let me go back to my original. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go back to my original, and if we look, both the original and the one we have now, here, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side action here. Oops, that's not what I want to do we can come to the conclusion that looks quite similar. Now obviously there's some adjustments that you have to make just to kind of change it up a little bit, but for the, about you know 90% of it, it looks quite the same. So yeah, there you go. That's kind of the basics into how to make a really good church slide um, for your church. And you can do anything with, um, with you know, the same things. You can get a different picture for the crowd, um, of a crowd. You can get it for uh, Sunday worship. You can do whatever you want as long as you keep it in the same uniform and you make it look kind of similar to this. But I think for what we did, this looks pretty good. My name is Josh Hanks. Thank you for watching today and more videos are coming soon. Hope you have a great day and God bless.